Hey there, welcome to the Dressage with Amelia podcast, where it's all about breaking things down and helping you learn to love your ride. I'm your host, Amelia Newcomb. These sessions are recordings from my Facebook Live, where I answer as many questions as I can from my audience. I hope you enjoy this episode where I answer your questions about dressage. Please help me out and share this with a friend who also rides horses. Hey there, today we have a little bit of a different episode. This week, during my regular recording time, I hosted a live webinar on contact and connection. So I pulled out some of my favorite highlights from the full webinar just for my podcast listeners. So enjoy, and remember, 30 Days to Round is starting in just a few days. This is the most effective program to get your horse on the bit, and I would love to have you join me. Click the link in the show notes to learn more, and the challenge starts September 15th, so don't miss out. When I was first learning to ride, I struggled for years to teach my horse to go round. So I found these are some of my scores. It was funny, my mom, Joelle, and she was actually going through my old journal from when I was like 14. And you can see here, I'm showing first level and I'm getting... 57, 59, 56, 57. So I didn't start out knowing this. I I don't think anyone starts out knowing how to get their horse round or how to get their horse supple or how to get their horse soft. And it's a process. It takes it takes time to figure out how to communicate to that to your horse. But I'm going to give you some really great tips and a system that I know is going to help you with your horse. Because the truth of the matter is that kicking and pulling on your horse does not work. It's really confusing to your horse if you are driving them forward and then holding them back with your hands. So why do we want our horses to be round? Think about that for a minute. Is it just so that they have a pretty shape in their neck? I mean, we'll all admit that Kensington is pretty beautiful there in the photo and it it is so pretty when they have that nice arch in their neck. But at a very basic level, riding your horse round helps you to stay safe. And I don't know about you, but I certainly am getting too old. I don't want to get hurt anymore. So when your horse is round, you can stop, you can turn, and you can get them to go forward. So That is why all horses and all riders, regardless of your discipline, need to ride round. As you become more advanced, roundness allows you to have smooth, balanced transitions. It allows you to do bends and turns and circles. It makes it easier to sit the trot. It allows your horse to be more focused and relaxed. And then as you develop your horse up the levels, Roundness is what allows you to have expression and cadence in the gates. It's what gives those horses such beautiful movements. He was frustrated. He already had a rearing problem. So I was just waiting for him to explode or something to go terribly wrong. And I don't know if any of you have ever felt that way, but I was at the brink of just wanting to give up and being like, I can't do this. Everyone else seems to be fine and their horses go around, but I can't do it. And I don't know what to do. And so a couple of weeks later, Sue let me ride her Grand Prix horse, Paradiso. And I sat on that horse and I felt it. Like all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I feel what roundness is. I feel what connection is. And it was this feeling where his back was up and he had all the power and energy of this big Grand Prix horse was under me. And yet it was so adjustable. Like I could go a little forward. I could come a little back. I could make the neck down. I could bring the neck up. I could flex the neck left and right. And all of a sudden I felt competent and I felt proud and I was able to sit there and have a nice position. And I've trained thousands of horses and thousands of riders at this point in my career. And I've really figured out a system 
that works to teach any horse to go around. I know that it will work for you and for your horse, and it does require effort and dedication, but I know that you can do this. And I know that you are determined because you're here today um, to ride your horse round and to get your horse supple and soft. So I'm gonna go through these four things. Number one is groundwork. Number two is rider position. Number three is forward. And number four is bend. So step number one, Groundwork. Did you know that you can and must teach your horse to accept the contact from the ground? This is so important. I can't stress it enough. And the truth of the matter is that no one wants to do groundwork. We all want to get on. We all want to ride. But spending time on the ground, even just five minutes working on getting your horse supple, working on getting your horse to accept the contact, in the end, it saves you time, it saves you struggle, it saves you effort. I learned how to do groundwork from a Western trainer named Larry Fleming. And I took my horse Geronimo to Larry when Geronimo had a rearing problem. And Larry went back to the basics. He put a rope halter on him and he started working on teaching him to bend and teaching him to yield the hindquarters and at first, I was a little frustrated. I was like, well, you know, I just want to show dressage and I want to go to the young riders and I don't understand how does all this stuff with the rope halter, why are we even wasting our time doing this? But the truth of the matter is that it really works. And it's so important for your horse to figure out how to move and how to maneuver their body. So we've done our groundwork, our horses supple and warmed up, their back muscles are engaged. Step number two is rider position. This is so important. So we're getting on our horses and a big myth here, your reins do not get your horse round. <laughs> it's so tempting, especially as humans, we do everything with our hands. We're typing, we're on our cell phones, we're driving. It's all about our hands. But when you're trying to get your horse round, your hands are the last and the least most important thing to getting your horse round. I love this quote from Yvonne Bartow, and she says, the best connection starts from nothing but an independent relaxed seat and the quiet neutral absence of the aids. I think that quote is so beautiful. And that was the feeling when I rode Sue's Grand Prix horse Paradiso. That's what I felt. I was able to feel the connection in my seat and I was able to have absent aids. Like my legs and my hands weren't really doing that much. I was just sitting on his back, feeling the energy and really feeling the connection in my seat with his motion. Step number three is forward. Forward is your friend. And you're making sure that when you do use your reins to supple your horse or to turn your horse, that you're not slowing your horse down accidentally or that you're not interrupting your horse's rhythm. And it's very important that, okay, we're getting our horse going forward and then we want to start suppling our horse or bending our horse or turning our horse. They must not slow down when you use your reins, unless of course you want them to stop. Okay, so we've got our horse going forward, but I think we all agree that we need more than just forward, right? Because I don't know about you, but I don't really like riding a horse who's bolting or who's completely out of control. We all know like, yeah, okay, we could get our horses going really forward, but um, as Melissa says, some forward is a bit too much, which brings me to the next part of our journey. And this is where it's really important because a lot of riders make the mistake here where their horse is going forward. They think, all right, good, my horse is going forward. And then they start trying to pull their horse into a frame. Step number four is bend. Bend is the prerequisite to ground. 
It is so important that you teach your horse to bend so that you can control the forward. And like I mentioned before, getting your horse bending left and right is what transforms your horse from being like a suspension bridge to being arching bridge. An arch, remember, that is the strongest shape in nature. So I believe in you. I know that you can do this and so can your horse. Now is the time to take action. And you have two choices. It's so easy to just, you know, fall into those old bad habits and you're feeling excited right now, but you go to the barn and your horse is stiff and your horse is resistant and you end up doing the same thing. And I don't want that to happen to you. Don't fall back into your old habits. And the most wonderful thing about when your horse is truly round is the feeling of harmony that you have with your horses. And that was that light bulb moment when I rode Paradiso was the power and the energy and the suppleness and the control. That's what we're all dreaming of. Thank you for listening today. I hope you've enjoyed this highlight reel of some of my favorite moments from my contact and connection webinar. If you enjoyed this episode, I encourage you to join me in 30 days to round. This program includes over 40 step-by-step -step exercises on exactly how to train your horse to go round, plus six live theory lectures, prize money, and a chance to make radical and lifelong improvement in your riding. Click the link in the show notes to join. We get started in just a few days.